the autism spectrum, life after high school can be a challenge. Did you know 80% of people with autism are unemployed? We can help change that. Life coach Sean Kendall is here with his student Anthony Capobianco to show us how capable neurodivergent people are and what we can do to help. Both of you welcome. And Sean, why is this work so important to you? Thanks, Tracy. Well, I've raised a daughter who has autism and global delay. And as she got older, she's now 23, I've realized there really is a gap in services. And after high school and as, as these individuals get into adulthood, there really is a gap of opportunities and services. And I really wanted to have an impact and, and take a hands-on approach and leverage my life coaching certifications to really help these individuals with learning important critical life skills. Okay, well, let's talk about that gap that you uh, speak of. If you are a person with autism and you finish high school, what often comes next? Well, really, like typical individuals, you could try, you know, getting into college or university. There's some really good college programs at Humber and, and um, George Brown, but not everyone can get into those. So then what happens? Really, you have to either have a hobby to keep busy and, and or find a job. And again, it's, there is a real gap. And um, so individuals need to really be able to build up those skills to be able to get into employment. But employers also need to be more open and understanding that uh, these individuals do need some other accommodations. And without that, you know, people are at home and they're alone and it becomes, it can become very depressing and unfulfilling. And the essence of coaching is helping individuals find fulfillment in their life. So that's really the ultimate goal. Anthony, this question's for you. I hear you used to work at a bakery. What did you like about that job? I like having a job, and I worked in the kitchen cutting vegetables and peeling potatoes and greeting customers. And which did you like more, the food or the people? Uh, the people, making sure they sanitize their hands, and if they're wearing a mask, so that they're good to come in. Yeah, and I think that that's lovely, right? You take some pride in doing work and doing it well. So, Sean, how does your coaching program help neurodivergent individuals? Yeah, so we run a number of different programs and we work on specific skills. We have a weekly cooking program where we, we teach individuals not only to work in the kitchen, but we also go grocery shopping. We select the products, right? So then we come back and we're actually hands-on, you know, doing the cutting and the prepping and food safety, handling raw meat, um, as, as well as the social aspect of really being able to interact better and have better social skills, which is really critical, especially as you go for interviews and things like that. Sean, this one's for you. Why should employers look to hire people with autism? Companies might need to do a little bit more work, a little bit more accommodations and training, but what you're going to get is an individual who is incredibly grateful for the opportunity, someone who's hardworking and loyal, and won't quit. You know, if you give an individual an opportunity and a, and, a, and a good environment to work, they will love it and stay there. And also, one of the characteristics is, of people with autism is they're hyper-focused. They will really focus on the task at hand often and love predictability. And often the mundane, repetitive jobs that typical individuals don't enjoy, uh, people on the spectrum actually thrive at that. And so, again, you're going to not only help the individual, but you're going to have a really productive, great employee. And uh, I think it's really good for society as well. When individuals come into your workplace, they're also getting exposed to people living on the spectrum, which I think is critical for today as we're all talking about inclusion in the world and, and being a better place to live. I think that's the essence. You know, here at CityLine, we work with many people in the hospitality industry, and all we keep hearing again and again is they cannot find people to work. So we're saying, open your eyes. There is a workforce out there for you. They may have autism. That is okay. These folks should be hired. I want to say one more question for Anthony now. Anthony, uh, what skills are you practicing now? Because Sean talked a little bit about developing skills. I am now practicing restaurant kitchen skills with something that has to do with a knife, a stove, and, a, and an oven. And I was grocery shopping all on my own and prepping meals independently. 
Yeah, I'm not going to lie. I could use some of that training as well. So I, I'm glad to hear it. That is fantastic. The, this is the workforce that we need right now that we are glaringly missing. So thank you so much, Anthony. Thank you so much, Sean, for joining us today to have this important chat. We appreciate it. Thank you so much. It was our pleasure. Ah, my pleasure. And whether you're an employer looking for a loyal employee or an individual on the spectrum looking for some assistance, get over to our website, cityline.tv, to connect.